All right, I'm gonna be doing a video here real quick. I was uh, going through my website today, kingjamesradioministries.com in the video section. And uh, I found three uh, funny videos. I wanna play those and then I'm gonna go over some announcements here. Um, so I just thought I'd get a video done here real quickly tonight. And uh, so I'm gonna do the screen share thing. And if you don't get to see the live stream, then you can watch it, you know, because it'll be on my channel. Then this video will be on my channel. So let's do the screen share thing here. Okay. Uh, let me just see something here quick. I'll make sure I'm doing this right. Uh, okay, yep, yeah, there it is. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to play some. Uh, just looking at the thing there. Okay, I'm going to play some. Just my my three three of my favorite uh, making fun of the new versions um, videos. I love these three videos. This David Daniels, of course, from Chick Publications here. First one. Hi to everybody. I'm just going to play these three videos quick, and then I want to get into some announcements, and then I'll be done. So. There's no sound. Okay. Nuts. How do you do this? <laughs> oh, brother. Oh, nuts. Um. Phone. I don't know. What am I doing wrong here? You can can you hear me? I think you can't hear the video, but you can hear me, is what you're saying. Uh, sorry everybody, I'm still learning this whole thing here. Okay. All right. That's probably what I was doing wrong. Okay, unplug the microphone or the uh, headphones. Okay. All right, let me try it again here. <laughs> oh, boy. Something else. Okay, let's try this again. All right. Let me try it again. Hi, this is David Daniels from Chip Publications. Okay, did everybody hear that? Did you hear David Daniels that time? Okay, I'll play it. I'm just, I'm going over these uh, three of my favorite um, videos about the new versions thing. So try it again here. <laughs> Jesus loves me, I suppose, for my pastor says he knows. He reads Hebrew and reads Greek, to my pastor I will seek. Jesus may love me, but pastor's above me. That's why he'll shove me to learn original Greek. Bless 
So I thought I'd share that one there. That's that's a good one from David Daniels. I like that one. And uh, <laughs> that's very true on many, many levels there. But uh, next we'll go to this one here. And I'm not going to, I'm not endorsing everything that these guys put out or whatever else, but it's still it's pretty funny. Um, this one here is, is a real classic one. I like this one about making fun of a new version. Here we go. Thou shalt not steal. Man, so I have to give the money back, but they won't even know what's missing. Is reading the Bible getting you down? Haven't got time to memorize all those rules and regulations? Wish there was a way to make the problem disappear? Well, now there is, with the newest Bible, the Erasable Bible, in the new International Standard Version, from the Loose Bell Corporation, makers of the finest stains and heavy burden. The Erasable Bible is perfect for the new, enlightened, tolerant, on the go kind of Christians of today. See a verse you don't like? Simply erase it. <laughs> yeah, but how easy is it? It's so easy. Simple as one, two, three for that friends. That's right. Every erasable Bible comes with its own literal plot, which removes any and all nasty traces of what was written there before. Out of sight, out of mind. Isn't that right, fellas? Don't worry, the erasable Bible suits all edges. Simply take your liberal cloth and Children of their parents. I like not. You got it, little Ricardo. I felt like there were too many rules. No more partying and getting drunk. I mean, come on, where's the fun in that? But with the erasable Bible, with just one swipe, I can get rid of any commands I don't like. Thanks, erasable Bible. My DUI hearing is going to my smart. Sweet. Hey, I got rid of any person that made me feel guilty. It's my life, and it's my body, and it's my choice to sleep with as many girls as I want. As long as I don't affect anybody, I'm okay, right? Oh, excuse me. Hey, Carol, how's it going? Why, you're pregnant. You may be asking, can this offer get any better? Why, yes, it can. During this special offer, we will upgrade your Holy Erasable Bible to the Holy Rewritable Bible. That's right. Why simply erase parts of the Bible when you can rewrite them to meet your fancy? Forget what anyone else says. Rewrite the Bible whichever way it makes you the happiest. The Rewritable Bible comes with a liberal cloth a black logic pen, and a red logic pen suitable for those pesky verses in the New Testament. The Erasable Bible and the Rewritable Bible. God did an okay job, but now you can do better. Who looks like someone's been reading their Bible?
All right. Another one I thought was pretty funny. I'll explain a little bit more about these videos here in just a minute, but then we'll finally do this one here. And uh, this one is another real funny one. Uh, here we go. My name is Alexander Elder, Freemason III. I attended Hebrew and Greek is better than the King James Version University. I also studied extensively at the Alexandrian Bible Corrector Seminary. Over the past few years, me and my fellow Catholic friends have conspired, collaborated in order to produce the most modern, understandable, user-friendly Bible translations today. Introduce the New World Order Revised International American Century English Standard Holy Hip Hop Fever Bible. <laughs> this more accurate translation of the Holy Scriptures includes many features found in other versions of the Bible. For example, easy to memorize verses in the NIV, such as Matthew 18 11, which says, Mark 9 44 and 46, which state, and let's not forget 1 John 5 7. Memory skills. But wait, we've also removed 64,000 words from the New World Order Revised International American Century English Standard Holy Hip Hop Hebrew Bible. Why, you ask? So you can finish reading it faster, duh. It's the same amount the NIV translators removed. Faster reading. We've also taken out those outdated, archaic words that are hardly understandable, such as voice, porch, hang, and replaced them with the much easier acclamation, colonnade, impale. Easier. We've also incorporated the naughty words found in the Living Bible in order to appeal to the MTV generation. First Samuel 2030 reads, Saul boiled with rage. You son of a Andrew. What? It's just the Bible. Cuss words. Your Freemason buddies will love the New World Order Revised International American Century English Standard Holy Hip Hop Beaver Bible as well. Considering we've completely removed Lucifer and replaced his name with Jesus. <laughs> Master Mason, call 1-800-HERITIC-NOW and receive not only one New World Order Revised International American Century English Standard Holy Hip Hop Beaver Bible, but two New World Order Revised International American Century English Standard Holy Hip Hop Beaver Bibles. Call within the next five minutes and receive your very own bottle of scripture away. Now you can translate your very own words of God's into whatever version allows you to continue committing your favorite sin. <laughs> Sinning. This message was brought to you in part by the Illuminati. If it's not a King James, good. But wait. <laughs> but wait. <laughs> so, okay. Um, find that other page here real quick. Give me a minute. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put the links to those in the description box of this video when it's all done. Uh, let's see if I can do this thing here, move that there and this over this way. Okay. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I, those videos were, you know, they're older videos. They've been out for quite a few years. And, um, so I, I, a lot of people probably haven't even seen them there in my, on the free video section of King James video ministries. So, I just wanted to put them out there again because they, they haven't, you know, most people haven't even seen them. A lot of new people have come along since those videos were out. So um, they were all Bible believers that put those things out, just making fun of the whole new version thing. Uh, just pretty good. And uh, I, I just want to say to them, you know, sorry about the thing of Jeremy, brother Jeremy doing the live stream as well. At the same time, I just, I started this and I thought, oh, nuts. I saw him doing one. So, um, you can watch, you know, his and, and mine after they're done. So whatever. But uh, just wanted to go over a couple of things here. Um, some uh, kind of announcements or whatever else you want to call it. Um, the external hard drives. Just wanted to kind of update people on that. Um, we actually, you know, here they are right here. And the weird thing is they are three terabyte now. Right there, you can see the three terabyte. If it will focus, come on here, focus on it. There we go. Kind of three terabyte. And um, they were two terabyte originally. And the, the person I was getting them from, they ran out of two terabytes. So they gave us three terabyte ones. And uh, so um, if you order one, if, if anybody orders one of these and it, and it comes and it's three terabyte, you think, 
I thought they were two terabyte. Yeah, they are. That's what the pictures show. But um, we got a bunch of them that are in three terabyte now. So uh, you get a better deal, in other words, I guess you could say it that way. I wasn't really expecting that, but you know, they they didn't have any more two terabytes, so they said three terabyte. Okay, so that's that. Um, another thing, uh, just uh, we're removing a lot of older videos off of the channel here. Um, uh, actually, over 200 videos of the older videos are, are off the YouTube channel. And the reason I'm doing that is because, number one, they're on the external hard drives here. Um, so they are, I haven't just deleted them totally. But uh, the main thing is a lot has changed over the years in terms of people I used to recommend. And, you know, and I, I just can't have that stuff online anymore. So I've had to take some of those videos down. Um, and another thing is, uh, of course, you know, some of the stuff was outdated information. Like one of them was my suggestions for a uh, name for the newest NIV that came out in the, in 2011. Well, obviously that's what, eight years ago. So there's really no point in keeping that up. So, um, if you're seeing videos being, you know, disappearing and things, some of the older stuff, that's what's happening. We are deleting a lot of the older videos from YouTube. So, um, couple more things here and then I'm going to be done for tonight. Maybe I'll answer some people's questions quick, but um, another one is I uh, had an idea to set up a account on BitChute, which I did and I was uploading videos and the idea was there that I was going to have a lot of my outdoor sermons on BitChute and then they would be linked to kingjamesvideoministries.com. Uh, well, the, the program that I use for um the you know my website it's webs.com it's just terrible i've never learned how to use the thing correctly i mean my i don't do a very good job with my website because i just can't figure out all the technical stuff and whatever else and it's not real user friendly and um so anyhow i tried and tried and tried today i was i was uploading videos all day to the bit shoot account um and you know and uh I really, really tried to, to put them onto my website, kingjamesvideoministries.com, and they would not, I could not get them up. I can put YouTube videos on, not a problem, but the bit shoot videos, for whatever reason, do not work on my website. So I'm um, probably just going to be deleting the bit shoot account, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Uh, the technology thing really get kind of gets to me after a while. I mean, I've, I'm trying to learn cameras and I'm trying to, to learn, uh, you know, a lot of different things and whatever. And there's only so much my, you know, old brain can handle here with this technology stuff. <laughs> I'm trying to make my videos better quality and everything. And so a lot of the, the websites and everything else, uh, just, ugh. um, so, uh, as far as you know the website thing is concerned too i you know i have the web store on there which you know i'll have that in the future but um eventually we will be going to a print catalog and, and whatever um so um another thing 4k video i talked about doing 4k video I had a brother actually send me some software and a, a laptop computer that we could do 4k video and i've been experimenting with some of that stuff um the last video i shot outdoors there in the snow was a 4k video but i tried to um you know render it and everything else and the file size was huge and for some reason i uploaded it to youtube and it came out they only had it at 360 you know 360p and which was really weird and i left it that way for most of the day and it they never updated it or whatever else it was a 4k video so I have no idea what's going on there, but I think most of the 4K videos, I know that there's some that are, you know, a couple hours long, but most 4K videos I've seen are pretty short. And, you know, I've, I, again, I've been looking into that whole thing and, uh, you know, um, I don't know the, the, I'm still probably going to bring out some videos in 4K, but it's more from what I'm seeing, 4K video quality is more for, real up close or really big panoramic pan, panoramic type of shots and whatever else. So, um, you know, okay. 
Adam Theory, I see, and say they're burn off the 4K videos on Blu-ray 4, so I'd buy individual sermons like that. That might be a possibility for the future. Not sure yet. Um, again, I'm still learning these cameras and everything else. It's it's kind of a new type of a thing to me. Um, so that's another thing I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm not going to be doing a whole lot of sermons. I, I, again, I'm learning. You know, you can take shoot 4K video, but then kind of step it down to 1080. You know, and it still looks really, really good. And so that's probably what I'm going to be doing, shooting videos in 4K, rendering them as, as 1080, and then bringing them out that way just so that they upload quicker and they play for most people and whatever else. Um, shorter videos, I'll probably do shorter videos in 4K. So, again, I'm, you know, I appreciate people's suggestions on that. Um, so I'm still learning a lot about the, you know, all the video and, you know, stuff and everything. Um, another thing we're going to be doing in the future, which I would like to get started on soon, is um, biblical truth and doctrine uh, studies. And they are going to be very, very, very detailed. Um, probably going to be coming out on little USB flash drives. Um, so, you know, and, but they're going to be, you know, multiple hour long, you know, really deep, all covering all the scriptures. None of this. For sake of time stuff that I say a lot in my studies, it's going to be really, you know, really in depth. I mean, because DVDs are limited in what the, you can put out on them. And I realize there's still a place for DVDs because some people still have access to DVD players. And they, it's, it's still a thing. But really, to, to get real good DVDs, just regular ones, non-Blu-ray, you know, you're looking at an hour or less. Blu-ray DVDs, I realize, are a bit more than that but um um you know so uh you know we'll, we'll see about the whole thing of the uh, you know the biblical truth and doctrine you know series that i'm going to be coming out with um again please pray for that and the uh the gofundme thing of course you know just let everybody kind of know about that um you know, we're still that's still kind of in process we're still looking for a place and um you know right now you know we're just trying to save up the money that we have and whatever else to to be able to afford a place and again some of the really detailed studies it'd be nice to be able to have a better setup for our office to be able to bring out you know more detailed you know things but uh you know just you know we, we don't have anything right now so um, so, uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to be talking more about this stuff in future upcoming videos. And again, uh, basically the, the goal for the future is going to be, um, more, you know, evangelism, not real deep doctrine stuff coming out on this channel. That's going to be offline type of a thing. Um, so, uh, that's what my plans are for that um so uh i think that's pretty much it for the different topics to discuss and uh i can answer some questions real quick i guess uh can i do a maybe do a video on updated video on my book dvd collection well i can't right now because everything's packed away you know when we get the new place where we can be down near our, near to our property um i can do it then because then i can get things reorganized uh, right now you know it's just it's everything's packed up um are deacons used in the house church if so do you have any just curious well we don't really have a house church at this point in time we i did that for years and um we you know we're just really trying to focus in on you know preaching the word getting things out and uh you know that's that's kind of where we're at with that. Um, certainly, as a as a house church grows, yes, you would have deacons. Um, there would be a need for that, but early on, you're not going to have much of a need for for deacons. And I do believe in multiple elders, by the way, too. I don't believe in a one man pastor. So, but I, I think that you know the instructions that Paul is giving Timothy in First Timothy chapter three about a bishop and a deacon and things. Um, he's talking about more of a larger group. Of people. I mean, remember they're meeting with, you know, back then they're getting, you know, like the day of Pentecost, it was what, 3,000 people got saved. Well, you need a little bit of 
organizational structure there. You couldn't just have one man pastor running the whole thing in some big building someplace. It's always a disaster when you do that. Um, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, there's no more Patreon. I got my channel was shut down on Patreon. I had no intention to go back. It's so funny. The same thing they did. Uh, Sermon Audio came out and they, they kicked me off of Sermon Audio because <laughs> I was too controversial. I guess I was ticking people off. And um, and then they came out, they kicked me off and whatever else. And went a, a month or two and they, they write me this thing. You're welcome to come back anytime you're ready. Yeah. I said, no, not going to happen. Same thing with Patreon. They, they invited me back after kicking me off. No. Uh, why don't you do a video on the Church of Christ and their doctrine of making people get baptized to get saved? Um, yeah, that might be something for the future. I might do that. Good suggestion. Uh, what What is my policy on uploading mirrors? Can I mirror your videos? Yes. As long as you don't change the, the content of it. That's all I ask on that. And don't monetize it. I don't monetize any of my videos. And, and I don't want money coming in from secular organizations that I don't know who they are or whatever else. Um, uh, if you see my question, then I apologize. Would daily motion work? I don't know what daily motion is. Is that another video hosting thing or something? I don't know. Um, Eastern Jesus Christ, my king, says this Eastern star Freemason woman was walking around with a five pointed emblem on her shirt. I told her, do you know what that represents? She said, yes. I said it re represents Baphomet the goat head yeah there's they have, they have different uh things there what they would say there's within freemasonry there's things that they tell the uninitiated and then there's things that they the inner circle knows and whatever and then you learn more stuff as you go up through so um do i have any prayer requests uh brother david there um yeah uh, just just pray that the lord continues to lead us and direct us um we're we're really trying to to get closer to our property uh it's it's a challenge here in maine because we just get really you know a lot of snow we just got i think about 18 inches of snow today so a lot of plowing and work like that but i uh, just just pray that the lord would lead us to the right place to relocate the ministry that's been a real a real big struggle for us uh, very big so um, Omar Gonzalez, Brian, can we still download your sermons for MP3? Um, in terms of taking them off of YouTube, yeah, you can absolutely do that. And if you have a program that changes them to MP3, sure. There was a website, I think, that had most of my stuff converted to MP3. I uh, can't think of what that is right now. Media Fire or something, I don't remember. But uh, um, um, uh, Creative Art 777. I've been watching James White recently. He seems very calm and collective in his debates. What is your opinion on this man? Uh, very, very dangerous man. Um, he's into apologetics. Uh, he has Jesuits endorsing his books. Um, but James White does not believe the King James Bible. He does not believe in any Bible. Um, he is a, he would say the Greek or the Hebrew, it's, it's, there's shades and nuances of meaning. There's, there's, you know, it's, it's, there is no word of God. To James White other than what he creates himself um, that's what you have to understand and these guys they're very good at playing word games James White has debated a lot of people so he knows how to play word games with people he's extremely deceptive very 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 deceptive uh, he's a con artist and I can say a whole lot more on James White too by the way uh, very very wicked and it's it, some of his doctrinal beliefs I mean he's messed up Calvinist and and into um he's not premillennial. I know that doesn't believe the catching up of the body Christ is going to happen before the time of James trouble. I mean he's nuttier than a pecan pie. Um Warren Kowalski, Brother Brian, how do you go to a friend and tell them that the KJV is the word of God and do it in love? Um very simple. Uh that's why uh, <laughs> my brain's working faster than my mouth. Very simple. Take a new version and the King James Bible and compare the two and show them the difference. That works really well. Hand them the NIV and say, uh, Acts chapter 8, verse 37. You read that. I'm going to read it from the King James Bible. It'll blow their mind. And then you can, it's a door. It opens it up and you can say, 
Now, let me explain things here. And then you get into, you can get into some of the manuscript evidence stuff. Don't get too technical. I, I you know, don't, I say stay away from getting into cursive and unseal and, you know, majuscule, majuscule, minuscule. You get into all these different big terms in it and they just over their head. And, um, but that's what I would do, just compare verses. Um, trying to get out through. Uh, see, I'm 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 talking too much, <laughs> and the comments are whoosh, way down like that. Trying to catch up here. Can you? Can I please do a video on Geno Jennings? Now, well, sometime. But the guy's just so cocky; he really doesn't need to even be exposed. Um, when are people going to realize that money has no actual value? Uh, yeah, that's a big study. I actually did a, a study one time on uh, gold and silver and things and. And real money versus the fiat currency and all that stuff. But I, I'd need to redo it. But anyways, um, uh, yeah, we were actually going to do the Charlie Rogers there about the outdoor videos. We were actually going to do one today, but we're going to do it in the middle of a blizzard. But it just we we got way too much snow, and I said I don't want to. It's you know going to be hard enough to you know plow the lane here, but then going down to our other property hour and a half away and it would just take too long and you know is really really we got a really heavy blizzard today um uh, brian do you have any tips for scripture memorization and bible teaching for little kids have two under four thanks um just you know read the bible to them and they're i don't know how much they're going to be able to memorize uh scripture at that age do I have any suggestions for attracting witnessing? I usually just leave tracks laying around all numerous stores. Yeah, that's the best thing. I mean, the Lord will increase that over the years. You know, you, you might get somebody you'll run into and just strike up a conversation. And when you do, just pray quietly to yourself. And just, you know, and just, Lord, if you want me to witness, give me an uh, open door here. That's what I would suggest. And, and he will a lot of times. Um, he gave me. Jesus is the Lord. I really enjoyed the insight you gave me in Isaiah 14, God's realm. Can you do a study on that if possible? Uh, about the, the north, sides of the north, that might be an interesting thing. Um, uh, Mr. B, are you still living at the house with the water sump pump? Yes, I am, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, Adam Theory, 18 inches of snow. I thought the four inches of snow we got here in Iowa was a lot. Yeah, no, <laughs> we get a lot of snow here. Am I familiar with Harry Ironside? Um, I I know the name, but I'm not really, I've never really heard much from him, uh, to be very honest with you. I can't really comment on that. Um, dare you to read a page or two of Rick Warren's book, Try Not to Puke. I actually did a bunch of stuff, um, video, or, uh, Whole thing on the Rick Warren, the 40 Days of Purpose. What's my view on military chaplains? Um, that's a big subject. I can't really get into that right now. The military has all kinds of very, very wicked rules. If you're a chaplain in that system, you're going to have to keep your mouth shut in a lot of different areas. Um, there's a lot of Catholic tie-ins at the top of the whole military chaplain system. There's some bad stuff there. Um Let's see, guys. Uh, Luke 8.13. I don't know if I should get into all that tonight. Uh, let's see here real quick. I'll just go to it. Luke chapter 8, verse 13. It's quicker for me to just do it this way. 
um, can't really screen share. Uh, they on the rock are they which when they hear receive the word with joy and they have no root, which for a while believe and in time of temptation fall away. That's not talking about losing salvation. It's talking about somebody um, that just simply believes, but they have no saving. There's no true conversion there. A parable of the seed and the sowers is kind of tricky because it's before the crucifixion. But um, there's definitely some in instruction and in righteousness there. And I'd, I am going to be doing something on that in the future. I'll just say that. Um, uh, Jonathan Kahn, uh, is is he safe to listen to? Uh, no. No, I wouldn't mess with him. He's, he's on uh, Jim Baker's program um, and a lot of other places and things it's at the White House and whatever else. I don't trust somebody that's into that. There's, there's circles. I think Jim Baker was a Freemason, to be honest. Um, whoa, the comments just zipped up there. Man, I'm way behind. Like, <laughs> and responding to these comments, I got to go way up here to see where I was. Um. Okay, military technology. How do I feel about dinosaurs? Um, I think that they probably existed at one point in time. I don't think that they were called dinosaurs just till recently. But um, what are some of the ministries you recommend on YouTube? Um, I just tell people honestly that uh, just it's it's the Bible. That's your authority. That's your standard. I don't really recommend other ministries. If if I'm on with um, Brother Jeremy or uh, Tim or whatever else, you know. I agree with them on, on most things and whatever. So, but I'm not going to endorse anybody 100%. I'm not even going to endorse myself 100%. It's about the Bible. Uh, um, Heart Alive today. I know the NIV is not accurate, but have. Also heard that NASB is more accurate than KJV. Faults? Um, well, it is more accurate than uh, the King James Bible because it's from a different Greek text. So that's something that most people don't, under, don't understand. The Nestle's Alon text that underlies the New American Standard Version um, is a different Greek text. It's, it's more of an Egyptian Alexandrian type of text. It's the um, minority text. Um, and the King James Bible is from the vast majority of text, Greek texts that are found called the Textus Receptus. So you can say that the New American Standard is more accurate to its corrupt Greek text than the King James Bible. Um, think about the Bible being the mark of the beast, some guy. Yeah, I, I heard of that. Uh, yeah, nutty. I don't think too much of that. Uh, see if I can catch up here. Okay, Micah King, Brian, why would Satan not repent? And if he did, would God forgive him, do you think? No, he's not going to repent because he was already, you know, uh, he committed the greatest sin, uh, you know, well, I would. He committed the sin of, number one, you know, trying to be God, according to Isaiah chapter 14. He also messed with God's word in the book of Genesis. And he called God a liar, essentially. So. Um, you do certain things and you're not going to be able to repent like that. Um, and I mean, the Bible already spells out his doom, so there's no possible way that he could change or whatever. Um, am I familiar with the Hollywood and elite secret transgenders? Well, you can go overboard with that stuff. I, I do believe that there is a lot of that weird sex perversion stuff going on there. Um, definitely. But just be careful with that. I would stay away from that. Uh, 
Sorry, I'm trying to catch up here. It's just not going so good. <laughs> Comments are coming up too quickly. Uh, have I read Ruckman's book, Black is Beautiful? Um, I haven't. I have read parts of it. I haven't read the whole thing yet. So a book review on it? No, because I haven't read it all yet. Um Uh, brother, I may be able to make you a website if I do. Oh, yeah, a lot of the um, NASA stuff and the flat earth and all that other, you know, that's for other people to, to, to do. I mean, I'm, you know, I can only do so much, you know, with, you know, um, you know, coming out on every subject possible. I'm not an expert in everything. Uh, your take on the Dead Sea Scrolls. Um, again, not a real big subject for me. Um, uh, I don't really have a whole lot to say on that. Have I heard of Martin Lloyd-Jones? What do you think of him? No idea. I have really no idea. never heard of the name. Um, Uh, am I planning a biblical diet study? Um, no, no, I'm not really planning it. Well, uh, I don't know. <laughs> That's a lot of these questions are coming in pretty quickly here. Um, I'd like to talk more about natural health. Yeah, definitely. There's going to be a lot of different things there, not just nutrition, but also some other interesting side issues in terms of natural health um so i'm not going to spoil what we're going to be coming out with um i've already talked about pastor charles lawson so i'm not really going to say much more about that Um, now they are wire people starting to attack apostle the apostle Paul um, and his doctrine uh, well because it's a, a Muslim thing they do that and there's a lot of people that are just really messed up in the head honestly so Um, this is it. Okay, I'm trying to get to some of these comments here. Um, Adam Moore, did the nations that Ezekiel prophesied against get destroyed by Babylon, or is most of it future prophecy? Again, Ezekiel is not one of my stronger areas that I'm real good at. I just haven't done much study on that, to be very honest with you. The Gog and Magog and a lot of that other stuff. Um, I actually did a study, by the way, there, Michael Stevens, on uh, the thing of the will of God. I think it's an old audio sermon. How do you find the will of God? I think I'm not even sure if it's still on the channel or not. Um, eternal, eternally secure in Christ. John Michael, the Jesuit Catholic Church, taught the flat earth for a long time and persecuted Galileo for his telescope belief, proof that it wasn't flat earth as an intelligence agency psyop. Yeah, again, I don't really get a whole lot into it. Um, will preterists go in the rapture? No. Um, Aaron Springborn, hey, Brian, how are you? Doing pretty good. We'll do a video regarding answering arguments regarding the Bible version issue. Um, that would probably be a good thing to do, honestly. Uh, I don't. I couldn't do it with this format because the questions come up so quick. I can't. I can't keep up with it. I try to get you know a little bit more detail in my in my answers and 
the comments just keep stacking up. So, um, study on makeup and how it relates to witchcraft. Yeah, that might be an interesting one. Study on makeup and how it relates to witchcraft. Um, the one of the main issues I have with makeup for women. Uh, of course, I have a big problem with makeup for men, but uh, <laughs> makeup for women, it is petrochemical based. It is super duper toxic, really, really bad for you. So uh, that's just one of the things there. Um, okay, we're cruising up through here. Um, yeah Dayton Wagner there biblical diet eat food drink water <laughs> if God made it you can eat it if man made it you don't need it yeah I mean if you know your ingredients list you know the, the best diet would be of course no ingredients at all um, you know just a fruit vegetable meat whatever um, that's the best, definitely. Um, but you want to go with as little, as few ingredients and things as possible. Um, Okay, what's the name of some music I listen to? Um, there's instrumental, you know, things here on YouTube. Um, can't think of some of the names of them right now. Uh, Let's see. Abigail Miller. I see Megram there. Yeah, I, I've listened to her things. I used to write back and forth a little bit with her husband, Paul. And uh, she's she's got some really good music. Um, could, I, could I do a video exposing Bob Larson? I already did. A uh, thing on exorcism. You can check that out. Uh, Aaron Springborn, I'm also wondering... When you will do the video of the pornography pandemic plus other book reviews, including preaching and reviewing the big KJV Bible. I'm actually going to be doing a big study on, I don't want to give it away yet, but I'm going to be actually using the, the really big Bible that uh, Brother John, I'll just say that, uh, gave me. Uh, it was a really wonderful present. And I'm actually going to be doing an outdoor video with that Bible. So kind of building up to that. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I'll stare at the video or the comments again. Uh, Jay Dean, enjoyed your last video in the woods with your son. Thank you. Um, I'm actually probably, you know, I'd like some people's input on this, just what people think. Um, you know, I'm usually careful with outdoor videos to just kind of keep it, you know, make sure my son's not talking and whatever else, but kind of had the idea of maybe next time um, just letting him and, and our dog play in the background or whatever else. And, and things um, would that be distracting to people? I don't know. Give me your thoughts on that. Um, oh, let's see. Um, yeah, my dog is hunting that squirrel. Yeah, she's getting better. There. She's still a puppy. She doesn't quite understand her role. That you know, she's a big German Shepherd. <laughs> she's she's still small enough that she still thinks that everything you know is just a play friend. It's kind of funny. Uh, have I seen the KJV Sword Bible? Easy Reader is the actual New King James. Only updates words. The only Bible besides KJV worth recommending. 
Yeah, I stay away from the new King James. Uh, there's a lot of issues with it. Uh, okay, thank you everybody out there for saying not distracting. Good. Um, okay. Can I do a study on the of the resurrection damnation? In other words, the resurrection of the people that are damned in hell. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Yeah, I did. The Jesus is Lord there. The Lord. Uh, did you get my news link on Israel? Started the temple practices again. Yeah, mm -hmm. I did. Didn't really say a whole lot about that. I think I might have said something in one of my videos, but I don't remember. Um, okay, not the NKJV, it's the King James Version. Okay, yeah, I just want to say here about this whole ecumenical movement thing that's a smoke screen, total smoke screen. It's going to be the Roman Catholic Church that's in control in the end times. Um, the whole world worships the beast. They aren't worshiping who they feel like worshiping or worshiping the way they want or whatever else. Uh, radical Roman Catholicism is going to be the religion of the Antichrist um, because they're the ones, you know, he sits on a throne. What other religious leader sits on a throne right now? None that I know of. Okay, unless it's some real small little whatever. Um, you know, the, the radical Roman Catholicism is going to be the end time, you know, uh, religion. So this ecumenical thing is a smokescreen. The Pope going around and always talking to this person and talking to that person. It's just a smokescreen. Um, Um, Mariah P. No, I wouldn't even bother finishing school. Um, I really wouldn't. Honestly, um, you know, when I first got married to my wife, we had uh, her student loans to pay off. And uh, it made things that much rougher when we first got married. So I would say stay away from the whole, you know, college thing. Oh boy. Uh, what do I think of the final fight Bible radio? I'm listening to it a lot lately. They play a variety of hymns and music, preaching and teaching, etc. Again, I don't really know much about it. Um, is there a difference between the terms the great falling away versus the beginning of sorrows? Good question. Um, there the Great falling away. It's not really the great falling away. I've said that by mistake. It's the falling away. Second Thessalonians chapter two, um, the beginning of sorrows that uh, Jesus mentions. Um, well, these are the beginning of sorrows. Um, I don't know. That's a really good question, actually. Uh, do I think the Antichrist is alive right now? No idea. I really don't have any idea on that. Will the Antichrist be the Pope or the false prophet? And what about, or excuse me, will the Antichrist be the Pope? What about the false prophet? Uh, well, I believe that the Pope Francis is basically driving the Roman Catholic Church into the ground on purpose as a Jesuit so that when the Antichrist shows up, then, you know, he'll come in and he'll take over and say, you've made a mockery of my church, you know, because he'll be appearing to be Jesus Christ. And then he'll become the ultimate Pope, you know, is what I believe and teach. As far as the false prophet is concerned, he'll probably be another high up Vatican official. Yeah. Okay. Man.
Okay, trying to get through some maybe another question, a couple of questions here. Hi, I see a comment there. Hi from Washington. Hello. I think I know who that is. I'm not going to say your last name or anything there, but you know. Um. Final Fight has a lot of PBI grads preaching on it. They sometimes play a recording by Peter Ruckman. He knew about their ministry. Yeah, I'm, I'm not real familiar with it. I think I've heard of it, but I don't really know a whole lot about it. Um, what role do I think Islam plays in the last days? There's a, um, a plan. I think it's called the Winslow Plan. And it's basically a plan to destroy Islam and including nuking, nuking their holy cities of Mecca and Medina. And basically using them, using a war on Islam as a catalyst for um, the new world order, building the new world order. And I think if that's part of the integration thing, why they're putting Muslim immigrants in all these different countries, uh, they're spreading them out to cause a lot of hatred and things. And, and if they blow up Mecca and Medina, the Muslims will go crazy and they'll just start going out and killing people. And the Bible says when the Antichrist comes to power, he's going to go out conquering and to conquer. Well, who's he going to conquer? You know, if he's a leader of the ecumenical movement, it doesn't make any sense. You know, if he's a leader of an ecumenical movement, the Antichrist, who's he conquering? It doesn't make any sense. Well, he's not. He's going to be a pope, and they're going to go out conquering and to conquer Islam, and they're going to slaughter him. Uh, so the, the role of Islam in the end times is going to be uh, those that are hunted down by the Vatican and the Vatican Crusades uh, and just totally wipe them out or first forcibly convert them huh brother jacob thompson there to see david daniel's latest video with the prophecy brothers he called james whitey brother in christ what are you kidding me oh my word that is really 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 bad i'll have to check that out but thank you for letting me know brother James White is definitely not a brother in Christ. No way. I mean, even even with the the whole, you know, new version thing put aside. I mean, the guy's a, he's a Calvinist. He's got, you know, major problems. Um, good night. I didn't know that. Um, Kenneth Weber, I have Amish neighbors. Do you think it would be a good use of time to wit witness to them? You can try. The Lord opens up a, a door of opportunity, but uh, they're trained that, you know, to basically, you know, if, if they leave the church, they're going to lose family. They're going to lose friends. They're going to lose everything. Uh, it's, it's a very, very, very wicked cult. Um, what if Jesuits invented dispensationalism? Uh, they didn't. I mean, what if Jesuits uh, said that Jesus, you know, died for your sins? I mean, they didn't invent dispensationalism. Um, I can prove dispensationalism from Scripture without any kind of Jesuit notes or Schofield or anybody. I can teach dispensationalism right from the King James Bible. Um Okay, Aaron Springborn, the thing about uh, not being hardcore enough because of YouTube censorship, I don't understand if you're telling it as it is already. I'm kind of confused. Um, there's there's things that would normally fall under uh, fair use, um, Section 103 of the, uh, Section 107, excuse me, of the U.S. copyright law, and I could bring those out normally, but YouTube has all kinds of weird stuff that they do with copyright stuff. So that, that's what I was talking about. I'll preach without compromise, but there's a lot of evidence and a lot of documentation I can't show on YouTube simply because there's all kinds of rules and other little things that people could, 
you know, shut this ministry down and whatever else, or I get sued or, or they try to sue me. So I just, you know, I used, I did the, the thing, the devil and music years ago. And it wasn't even a problem. I just used some small little clips of music and it's been flagged so many times. I just had to finally take it down. And uh, so whatever, but uh, okay. Yeah, I've heard of the Matthew Vines thing. Yeah, he's just a pervert. Um, uh, Brother Ryan, have you seen the Wicked Throne at Paul the Sixth Audience Hall? Possible seat for the Antichrist. Is that the one that has all the wooden carvings behind it? All those big, looks like devils flying or something. You know, like there's a this guy and whatever else up there in the carving. I think I've seen that. I know there's one with the upside down inverted cross as well. Um, why is Darby thrown in our face so much? Because that's all they have, quite frankly. Um, yep. These comments. I apologize if I'm missing your comments because they're just they're coming up like crazy here. Uh, do I believe that Stephen Anderson is a Jesuit? No, I don't. I believe that he could be a Jesuit temporal coadjutor. Okay, there's a little bit of a difference there. Well, I, I guess technically that still would be a Jesuit, but I'm saying I don't think he's a full fledged Jesuit priest. Um, a temporal coadjutor is somebody that would be um they help they they're just told what to do kind of in the in another realm that's not in the realm of catholicism essentially without getting into a whole big thing on it but uh i mean he he might not be he you know but he's definitely got some tie-ins um where he's being sent all over the place and essentially raised up to make bible believers look bad um How do I feel about referring to Jesus as Yahua or YHWH? It's wrong. It's not the way it should be. Uh, I'm a King James Bible believer, so I call him the Lord Jesus Christ. Do you think the falling away will become before the... How much worse do I think the falling away will become? Um, well, I don't know. I think that it could end up with persecution and then things would really get real. Uh, if you're a Bible believer, you go to prison kind of a thing that would weed out quite a few people. Um, you'd see a lot of people dropping uh, the King James Bible very quickly. I don't hope for that. My, my goal has always been to preach the word and, and get people saved and uh, preserve things right up until the catching up of the body of Christ. Um, you know, yeah, the the falling away is there, but I'm, you know, trying to do my part to fight it. And I'd like, you know, I'd love to see everybody else doing the same. And uh, that's my my um, my goal, you know, to kind of preserve things as much as I can in my little way until the catching up. So. Um, but, you know, it could come to a point of open persecution. I, I don't hope for that. I, I hope that we're out of here before that. But if it does, the falling away would really, really get bad. Um, Watchman Studios. Why do Catholics always refute testimonies given by ex-Catholics? Why do they always say that he only left because he didn't understand our faith? My whole family is Catholic. Um, because they really don't have any good way to answer it. You know, that's why if you if you speak against catholicism and you say i was never a catholic they'll say we well, are a protestant you came out of catholicism see the the way that the catholic system works is they basically tried to eliminate all believers down through the centuries they called them heretics 
and they'll say there was nobody outside the Catholic Church before the Protestant Reformation. But then they'll talk about heretics. Well, heretics were groups of Bible believing Christians, and they might not have had all the beliefs that we would today or whatever else. But, you know, they were still people that did not fall for Roman, you know, Catholic doctrine. So they're they're always trying to, um, you know, put people into little categories and things. And uh, that's why they'll say, well, you just didn't understand or whatever, because they believe that they're the one true church. But just simple understanding of scripture, uh, you can see plainly they're not the ones lining up with scripture. So. Now there it goes, zipping out again. Uh, how soon you guys think the rapture will happen? Um, not soon enough. I don't know. Uh, this century at least? Yeah. Yeah, I believe it will be this century. Definitely. Um, I don't think it's very far off. But I'm not going to set a date or anything, obviously. Yeah. Um, would it be sinful for me to default on my student loans once I'm married? I don't know that my husband and I will be able to afford paying them off since I won't be working. Uh, the Lord will provide for that. Um, you know, I, I don't think it'd be right to do that. The Bible talks about, you know, um, if I can find that verse quick for you. If you have a debt, I think it's something that you should, uh, off. It's not easy to do that, but you know, it's kind of the way it is. Psalms 37, uh, verse 21 The wicked borroweth and payeth not again, but the righteous showeth mercy and giveth. So I would say, you know, take care of it. You don't want that hanging over your heads. Um, is replacement theology part of the strong delusion? Yeah, in some ways, I would say, yeah because they think it's all about the church and whatever else. Why do so many charismatics love Donald Trump and act like he's a Christian? Because charismatics are all about their best life now. God blessing you with riches and God blessing you with whatever else. And so they look to a guy like Donald Trump and say, well, he's got all this wealth. God, you know, if God blesses him, then he can also bless me with wealth, you know. Um, okay. Yeah, the Waldensians were an example of Bible believers that were around for centuries. That's right. Um, how long have I been going live? Is it every Wednesday? No. It's not every Wednesday. It's just, you know, I, I wanted to make a video real quick. I found some neat older videos. If you watch at the beginning, um, I played some neat older videos, to, you know, kind of making fun of the whole new version thing. And I just want to go over some things, some topics to discuss where we're at in the ministry right now. And I thought this would be the best way to do it. Hi, Victor. Okay, just I'm looking at a lot of things in here trying to go over some stuff. Um, what is the toughest study you did so far, or is it yet to come? Hmm. Uh, well, that's that's kind of a hard thing to answer there because there's some studies I've done that were 
a lot of secular material and things, and that's hard for me to study. But uh, one of the uh, more difficult things I studied just from the Bible itself was the thing of the old and the new covenant. That was kind of an interesting thing. Uh, what is the oldest available manuscript used for the KJV? Well, um, again, manuscripts are not solely used for the KJV. There's, there's a, um, you'll get a papyrus. The papyrus fragments are the oldest manuscripts, extant manuscripts. And, um, you know, some of those will go back to the second century. I, I don't know if any went before that, but uh, you'll get portions of them that will line up with receptus readings and, and whatever else. So it's not like they find some, you know, second century manuscript and it's just identical word for word. You know, um, there's the, the, the textual criticism is a really big subject. Um, Uh, the, ba the basis for Catholics saying that that the Bible is not the final authority. They gave us the Bible and it's not the final authority. Um, it's just their own perverse way of, of, you know, they can't handle the scriptures. So they just say it's not the final authority. Um, so I'm trying to go through some of this stuff. And there's a lot more I could say on this stuff, too. I'm just trying to answer a couple of questions here before I call it quits. Um, hi, Karen Sue, new subscriber. Thank you so much. And God bless you. Well, praise the Lord. That's great to hear. Okay. Does anybody else have any questions here? If I missed your question, just retype it. You know, I apologize. Um, it's just the comments sometimes ago go flying up through there. What's your thoughts on professing Christians preaching about the gospel of the kingdom and not Christ and him crucified? know some who did in particular and it just doesn't sit well with me yeah the gospel of the kingdom is not you know for right now um definitely not people are non-dispensational we get all kinds of stuff mixed up um roland berryman i'm sort of new to dispensationalism and confused on a couple of things will people be saved during the tribulation period and following yeah they will be um salvation in the time of jacob's trouble which is the proper term not really called a tribulation um, the salvation that time is going to be uh, faith and works set up uh, works being that you can't take the mark of the beast um, which is going to be rough and it contradicts multiple scriptures in the Pauline epistles which say that um, you're to provide for your own and if you don't that you don't deny the faith and you're worse than an infidel first Timothy chapter 5 talks about that um, so yeah there's there's a lot of different things there that's that's one of the, the biggest proofs for dispensational teaching um did you know that the manna was given to the jewish people in exodus and in daniel's 70th week is the meat flesh of satan leviathan owen high brother brian don't know if i've heard that before um uh aaron springborn anything regarding a new ministry office update no i talked about that earlier um I'm going to be talking some more about that. But right now, most people don't really have their homes on the market. Um, there's some places that are for sale that we would love to you know, be able to get, but we just don't have the money for it right now. Um, we'll see. We're praying about it. Um, Brian, do you have any thoughts on the colophones, colophones at the end of some epistles? Not sure what you mean on that one, to be honest. My brother. Um, okay, Florida Gospel Tracks. Why do a lot of people preach from the Sermon on the Mount? Because there's no uh, blood there. They're, they're trying to get it past you know the, the time that we're in and the time of Jacob's trouble and go right into the millennial kingdom, which is what it's written for. Um,
Uh, well, my 20 year old niece is a brilliant programmer and she makes virtual reality software to help kids with autism and behavioral problems. Do you believe our Lord looks kindly to this? Oh, brother, I don't, I don't really know. I don't, I can't really answer that question. I don't know. I, I've never really looked into all that, the virtual reality software type of thing. To be honest, I don't know. Um, tell us seven. Will the Antichrist look like the white, long hair, blue eyed Jesus from the pictures? Good chance of that. Yeah. Um, uh, don't completely understand your stance on of going to church. Where should a believer assemble? Um, well, the assembling of, you know, not forsaking the assembling of yourselves together. In Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25. Uh, first of all, it's talking to a Jew in the time of Jacob's trouble, um, doctrinally. But uh, as far as Christians meeting the other, it's a time of fellowship that you come together, um, not to discuss the weather or uh, latest hunting story or the, the Super Bowl. You're coming together to organize to go out and preach the gospel, which uh, most church buildings don't do that. And um, so, uh, you know, I would recommend meeting with other Christians is what I would recommend. Or if you get people saved, go and disciple them. Um, have them come to your house or go to their house or whatever else. That's what you see in the book of Acts, and that's what I recommend. Uh, uh, let's see here. Okay. Phelps just made a video referring to a brother on YouTube saying that someone is teaching heresy regarding referring to the Trinity. I think he was referring to you to the, said that Jesus is not the father. Yeah, well, Phelps, I'll, I'll just say it openly. Phelps is a heretic. I had different people tell me things, people that knew him and things and, and saying that he's yoked up with a lot of different very wicked things or whatever else. So I don't want anything to do with Phelps anymore. I'm not going to recommend him. It's a shame. Because I very much respected him, but I don't recommend the guy anymore. Okay. The colophones are like at the end of the Romans says, written to the Romans from Corinthus, sent by Phoebe, servant of the church at Centria. It was in 1611, I think. I don't know. I don't really have a, a huge problem with that. Uh, you, you know, just take it with a grain of salt. The same as the center column references and things like that. Um, okay. No, Jimmy Wilson, you can't be. If you're a dispensationalist believing the seven economies on how God deals with man, believe that people have always been saved by faith, faith through grace, grace through faith, I think you mean. Um, Grace has always been there, but it's not grace through faith and nothing else. Uh, no, it doesn't work that way. So if you're a dispensationalist, you're going to understand that, uh, especially in the time, you know, the millennial kingdom or the thousand year reign of Jesus Christ, whatever you want to call it. Uh, how can you have faith when Jesus is physically on the earth? So that doesn't work. You're not going to be saved by grace through faith at that point in time. Is the Holy Spirit already in us or does it come later like after reading the Bible? The Holy Spirit comes into you when you get saved. Yeah. If you're saved, the Holy Ghost is in you. Amen. Do I believe that new, the new IFB could get physical to not only Jews but true Christians? The new IFB is they are Catholics. That's all they are. They're pre-Vatican II Catholics posing as Baptists. That's what the new IFB is. Okay, let's see what time is it here. Well, I think I'm going to call it quits for tonight. I went through a lot of different questions here. Um, so I'm going to call it a night for, for now. So if everybody could just pray for us, um, you know, uh, we really appreciate that. 
um, just to, just just as a the the biggest request for me right now. I was asked earlier, and I'll just I'll uh, say it again, and that is um, the the struggle that I've had over the years has been this place that we live in. Um, we bought this place as a you know we'll you know we will stay here while building at our property the Lord gave us, and um, we never intended to live here long term. And it was just a nightmare dealing with that property over there. The Catholic neighbor that we had a right away going through his property and it was just fighting and fighting and fighting and just spent years trying to build. And I could not get back in there. And finally, we just we were forced to sell the property. And, um, you know, we looked and looked and looked. We looked at houses. We looked at land and whatever else. Um, you know, we tried our, our, our best to find something that would work. We tried to get a house at one point in time. And it just, it fell through, did not work out. Um, and we ended up buying some property because I thought that's going to be the cheapest way to go. And, um, you know, just trying to, you know, do my best to provide for my family and get us to a place where we can actually have, you know, um, the ability to be outdoors. I mean, I was raised in the woods. I was not raised in a little town like this. So that's been very difficult. And this house here, the other thing is it's just it's got so many problems and there's just no way, I mean, to redeem the money that we would put into this place to get it saleable. Um, we'd never make our money back. We've, we're just throwing money away being here. And I hate that. And so that's really what we've been trying to do now for years. And that's just it's just a continual dragging me down just of. You know, I don't want to be in this place. The Lord's given us a beautiful property and it's an hour and a half away and just going between the two and whatever else. It's just it's really, really rough. And that's something that we really would appreciate people's prayers on. Um, so. Um, yeah, if, if people could pray about that, that the Lord pr would provide. The money for us to be able to get a place down closer to our land, a place that I can actually work on and fix up, and we can get out of this place here. And literally, this place is going to be torn down after we leave. Uh, it's it's worth more the materials in this place, the lumber and whatever else. It's worth more than trying to sell it. Um, and in this condition, I don't think I could get even ten thousand dollars for this place. I mean, it's bad, and. Uh, so we're going to be tearing the place down because we can use the materials from this to build on our property. And um, so that's what our plan is at this point. I mean, I, I would love to be able to say, you know, once we leave here, I'll give it to a family that's in need or something. But honestly, I wouldn't give this place to anybody. <laughs> it's, it's in bad shape. Um, the one part of the foundation on the North end of the house is starting to cave in and kind of the, Thing I got it propped up and everything else. I just I can't I can't justify putting any money into this place because we're just losing it, you know, losing money by putting anything into it. So just wanted to share that with people. And um, so so I guess that's it for tonight. So um, Guess that's going to be. I'm just looking at some of the comments here. So, okay. Yeah, good to knock. Um, <laughs> Brother John. Uh, all right. So I'll be I'll be checking in different times with live chats and everything else. I do enjoy them, but man, the comments just <laughs> come up so quick. I can't keep up with it. So I do appreciate all of you. Um, even my enemies, you know, I just want to say something about that. Uh, I, I call certain people enemies that, that are lost and whatever else. And then technically, I guess you are technically an enemy, but I do appreciate some of the constructive criticism and things. Those of you that don't troll this ministry and, and just hate my guts and whatever else, you can have disagreements with me and I appreciate those disagreements. Um, so, but I do, uh, really love the encouragement. Um, from 
all of you there in the comments. I really do appreciate it. So I'm going to sign out now and uh, we're going to be doing some, I got a couple of good sermons over here. I'm writing them out on papers now. It's easier when I go outdoors to have these little papers, but I have um, three sermons right there, ready to go. Two more over there that I'm going to be getting the scriptures together on. So the Lord's really given me some real good stuff to bring out. And um, so there are going to be a lot more outdoor sermons as time goes by and um, bringing out some more good stuff in the future. The Lord's really doing a lot in the ministry right now, but we just just want to get over this huge hurdle of, um, you know, uh, just this place. <laughs> this place is just so vexing. I mean, you know, just let me just do it this way real quick. Uh you know, you can see the floor right there. The floor is just, a, you know, the carpet's up on it and everything else. And up there, it's drywall and, and whatever else. I mean, there's just, we're tearing the place down eventually. There's no point at all. Excuse me here. There's no point at all in, in trying to, see if I can get it back here to where it was. There's, there's just no point at all in trying to paint things or fix things or whatever else. And that's not like me. You know, I want to be able to, to make things look nice and whatever else. And I can't because it's just it's a waste of money. So, you know, I really would appreciate, uh, you know, people just, you know, please pray for us because it, it really, really drags me down as a, as a father and as a husband. Just I feel so rotten living in this place. And uh, so that's going to be it. I'm going to keep going on and on and on. But uh, we'll see everybody in future videos. And uh, so I guess that's going to be it. So thank you to all of our friends in the ministry out there, all those that support us. And uh, thank you, too, for your prayers. That, that means so much to us. So that's going to be it. Good night, everybody. Stay in the word. Pray. And uh, in everything, give thanks. And, I, you know, and I will say that I'm thankful for what the Lord has done to us in spite of our living conditions. And, and I'm thankful at least I have a roof over my head. I am thankful for that. So. All right, that's going to be it. We'll see everybody in the future.